Now, as a student, if you don't obey simple instruction on your question paper, that is the beginning of doom. Okay? Um, this question is in solve using the quadratic formula. Now, I've seen cases or series of cases where students flout the instruction and they use the formula they like, either the method they like, some we use completing the square, some we use factorization, and so on and so forth. Please try as much as possible to always obey instructions on your question paper. Because once you don't do that, you will be losing serious marks in the exam. So this question, we are going to use our quadratic formula. Okay, so let's go. Our quadratic formula is given as x is equal to x is equal to um, minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac all over 2a now take note of how this formula is you see everything here everything here is the numerator this division sign is covering from the minus b down to the end. Some students quote it as like this. And this is not the same. Okay? They are not the same. So please take note the over sign, the division sign, cause across everything. So this is the proper way. So let's go. Um, okay, for the sake of our question, our variable is not x, we are going to use y. Since the variable here is y, we are going to use y. Okay? So let's go. Now, remember our a, the coefficient of this first term is 3, that's our a. Our b, the coefficient of this second term, that's minus 5. And our c is this last term here, which is 1. So all we have to do now is to plug in all this thing into this formula. And we are done. That's how to apply it. Very simple. So let's go. So our y is equal to, let's go. Now the formula has minus. We put the minus. B, what's our B? Minus 5. Plus or minus. You see, just follow the formula. Nothing there. Square root sign. Next, we have B square. Our B is minus 5. So since they say B squared, we minus 5 squared. And four, a was our a, our a sorry our a is three times three. C was our c, our c is one. Then you put everything over two a. Two was our a, our a is three. Can you see that? We're almost done. So our y is equal to minus times minus is plus. I mean to have plus five here. Then plus or minus square root of Minus 5 squared is 25. Minus 4 times 3 times 1, that is um, minus 12. So that gives us over 2 times 3, that's 6. So that I'm going to have 5 plus or minus, and 25 minus 12, that's 13. 13 over 6. Can you see that? So from here, we are going to have that our y is equal to, we can now separate this plus or minus simply means 5 plus square root of 3 all over 6, or y equal to 5 minus square root of, sorry, square root of 13 rather, square root of 13 all over 6. Can you see that? Okay, so let's go, we are almost done. Now, when you use your calculator to do this, when you look able to do this, I know that my square root of 13 is actually approximately 3.61, approximately. Okay, so when we divide, we are going to have our answer as, um, as 1.435. When we divide, that's our y. Then here, we do the same thing, 5 minus... Square root of 13 is 3.61 all over 6. And when we also do our division, we're going to have 
three to have zero point two three two approximately. So these are approximate values. These are approximate values. So this is our solution to this quadratic equation. I hope you've gained value. Thanks for watching. You have a good day. Bye.